Hey, what is going on everyone? I'm Mo here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing fantastic today. So today I am bringing you guys some Gone Home. I'm um, about a half an hour in now. Uh, I did stream about the first half hour. Uh, I don't know, it's been a couple days now. So we're going to pick up where we left off and see how far we can make it. Um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this recording software works. Um, I changed over to a different uh, recording software because DxTory, for some reason or another, I don't know if it has to do with this last update that they had or whatever, it just will not record. I don't know why, but uh, but that is that. So we're going to try out a new recording software and see how that does. Uh, I got a trial of it, so if it works, then I will go ahead and buy it and just use it from here on out because I do like the uh, the overall setup. It, it works really well and... Um, I like the layout of it a lot more than I do DX Tory. So we're going to try this and see how it goes. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So for those who have not seen this game, which I don't know why you wouldn't have seen it because this game has been everywhere. Um, it's a really fantastic game. The atmosphere of this game is just absolutely amazing. Um, let me trying to remember how to play here there we go okay so we need to kind of figure out what we're doing here but anyway uh what was i saying the atmosphere the atmosphere of this game is absolutely amazing um it definitely i don't know what it is i don't think anything's gonna happen to be honest but you always feel like there's something watching you it's almost, you know, it's one of those games where, or it's not even necessarily the game itself. You know, if you go to a brand new house, and, you know, you're, uh, what we got here? Toss that out of here. Um, but you go to your new house, and, you know, it's an older house, and there's a lot of creeks, things like that. You just kind of have that uneasy feeling. And especially, you know, when you're a kid, it kind of plays minds. You know, your imagination runs wild, and... You start to hear things, you start to see things, and um, that's kind of what I've been going through, as you can see the last time that I played. Um, I had Mr. Dinosaur here who was protecting me, and we were just making a mess, so whoever comes home is going to be absolutely pissed. Uh, so we need to kind of figure out what we are doing here. Um, we got the library. There, It looks like there's a secret passage in the library uh, that we can go to. As well as one over uh, in mom and dad's bedroom closet. Um, I had to uh, to look it up a little bit to kind of find out what the hell I was supposed to do. Um, and it's slow. I, I kind of I'm getting in that mindset where you kind of have to really think, and uh, and that's kind of the uh, the thing of it. You, you really have to just think. And kind of uh, just play in a different way, in a different mindset than you would in a kind of a normal game. Because there's hidden passages, there's you know, all kinds of different stuff. So, what's this? I don't think I've read that. So, guy Chen Li moves. All right. Um, so, we need to find the combination to this. And I don't think anything is in here. Let's see. Let me adjust my mic here a little bit. I apologize if you hear rattling around and nonsense. Um, I'm not seeing anything. Let's see. Crouch. I don't see anything under there. Alright, let's go to mom and dad's room, and I think, um, let's hold off on that. We'll hold off on the secret passage. Uh, let's see if we can find anything else. So we got that note there. What do we got in here? So we got Sam's journal. Um... I think we've already read that. 
Hmm. Maybe that's the next thing we're supposed to do. I, I think I've been through all of this. Um. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go to the secret patches, I guess. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. So, secret passage, secret passage. Aha! It's so. Excuse me? It's really dark. I can't see anything. I bumped up the, uh, the volume a lot. Um, or not the volume, the, uh, the brightness a lot. Uh, just so you guys could see, because I know. If I can't see, then there's no way that you guys could see anything. Okay, so there's three hidden compartments. Uh, there's one in the library. There's one in the upstairs hall. And one in the foyer. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. It's really dark. Oh. Alright. That's cool. Um, so the library. So th there should be something over here. Ah, get out here. Oh. The misfits. All right. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust. And then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Okay, so... I'm going to assume on the, uh, the story front here. So, she met Lonnie, and... Excuse you. Um, so she met Lonnie. And uh, apparently she is starting to like her. Nothing wrong with that. Do what you like. Do what you like. Uh, so so that's kind of what I've gathered, gathered from that so far. So where were these other ones at? So there's one over here. Ah, yeah, here. Keep getting lost <laughs> with my mouse. Okay. 50-1. Okay. Private. Do not read. The Green Glacier Part 2. I'll go ahead and uh, leave this up for a second. You can pause if you would like to read this. Um, but I am not going to. Not while I'm recording. I may go back and read all this stuff. But... Uh, but I don't think recording wise, it makes sense to sit here and just read. So go ahead and pause it if you would like. And there you go. Okay, so I believe we got part of the combination to that locker. So now we got those. We need to go to the top floor uh, in between Sam's room, it looks like. Okay. God, I keep wanting to run. But uh, the normal run button that is in most games is zoom in. Okay, so... It's over here somewhere. There it is. Get out of here. Okay, so they got a Ouija board. That's cool. Um... All right, I'm just going to go and put that over there. Leave me alone. Oh, and one more thing. 
as I was playing this uh, the first time, I thought this was blood. I never realized that this was here. So, yeah. Not blood, but hair dye. <laughs> Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? Yeah. It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. Okay. So I think I was supposed to get that one a long time ago. So that might be a little bit off in the, uh, I guess, the story of it. And there is the rest of that. <laughs> I, I keep hearing stuff. I'm telling you, I swear, I don't think anything's going to happen. But the noises in this game, it's ridiculous. It's amazing. All right. So what do we got here? Pack of cigarettes. All right, that's not good. Get that out of here. Um, gosh, Sam. <laughs> okay. Do what you like. Do what you like. And Lonnie. Okay, not bad. Not, not what I was thinking. I was thinking she was going to be all chubby looking. Not bad. Lonnie came like that. over today. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said, no, there was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was going to cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie. Do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So, basement is over here. Good. That's what I thought it was. So, we are kind of getting more into the story here. Um, like I said, uh, apparently they like each other. And, again, that was cool. Definitely do what you like. Don't let people tell you otherwise. Um, okay, I don't think there's anything in... Oop. Okay, thought that picture was something weird. So, uh... <sighs> Down to the basement, I guess. <laughs> um, do we have to go down here? Really don't want to. Oh, excuse me. All right, well. <sighs> guess there's no time like the present. <laughs> Lights on. Lights on. Go ahead and just light this place up. How about that? I think that sounds like an excellent idea. Alright. So this kind of just like sends chills up my spine. It's it's the atmosphere in this game is ridiculous. It is amazing. Even though, like I said, I don't think anything's gonna happen. Uh, if something was gonna happen. I think you would be able to run, but you can't run in this game, so I don't, I, you know, you can't run and hide from anything. So I can't see there being anything that's going to happen, but the fact that a game can be like that and still make you have chills, it's amazing. I mean, the atmosphere is phenomenal. So let's go ahead and read this. Um, reproductive system worksheet, uh, Caitlin Greenbrier, 9-10-91. Below are two stories. The events are 
all out on order, out of order. All right. <laughs> uh, get a sheet of lined paper. Write reproductive system worksheet part six or number six rather at the top. Then choose one of the two stories, A or B, and write it. Begin with the title and your name. Find a topic sentence to begin your paragraph. Put the sentence in chronolo chronological order. That's a really hard word to say. Chronological. Make sure the last sentence is a good concluding statement. The menstrual cycle is A. The... That was a weird sound. Um, and I am produced in the testicles. That's... That's a weird... Not so much a statement, but a weird uh, story thing. I don't know. But, alright, so that is a worksheet thing there. She got a check plus. Good job. What do we got here? We got a plaque. Caitlin, K is for kind. A is for amazing. I is for intelligent. T is for talented. L is for light-hearted. I is for important. And N is for nice. There you go. Oh, nope. I thought it was a light pole for... That looks like a light pole when you're standing here. But then you step back and it's not. <laughs> is there anything over here? It's a pretty cool drawing. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. Okay. That was a loud noise. Or not loud noise, but loud creaking. Three ringed binder. There's nothing in there that I see. Dear Samantha, I would like to... Something? Thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoyed the... Something potatoes? And also, it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny. How impossible it is for your dad not to... Be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Alright. And you can go ahead and read that if you want to. Alright, well I guess we'll go this way and see... Kind of what we got over here. That's a really old furnace. Craziness. Needs to be more lights. <laughs> All right, Samantha Greenbrier, One Arbor Hill. That's a. Re how do you get that number? Like, how does that happen? One. I'm number one. Congratulations. I am pleased to inform you of your admission to creative writing track of the Reed College Summer Program for Young Scholars for its 1995 session. Uh, we believe you have much to contribute to the Reed Community College, or college community, uh, so on and so on and so on. Alright, that's cool. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Oh, that's sad. So, let me check something real quick. So, we got journals here. 
so it's kind of cool. It, it kind of shows, you know, it starts off in August of uh, 1994, and it kind of goes through the uh, the dates, which is kind of cool. You know, it kind of shows you the uh, how it's leading up to, you know, I assume, the end of the game, you know, where you find out what happens. Um, and I really like that. I saw that uh, not too long ago uh, before I got off of my stream, and... Uh, I thought that was pretty cool, so that is that. Let's go ahead and continue on, shall we? What do we got here? Alright. Oh. Thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book, an author's first published manuscript is a momentous occasion. I read it this afternoon. Oh, I read it this afternoon, that's weird. Um, I certainly recognized my son in the subject matter. An author's work uh, is the externalization of that which he holds dear, so forth, so forth, so forth. Uh, you can do better. All right. So apparently that wasn't bad, but it wasn't necessarily good. So what do we got here? Can't read anything on this page. And I just spit all over my screen. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. What's over here? That's not straight. I'm gonna leave that on. X-ray specs. That was weird. <laughs> um, something, something, Samantha. Um, so a note from Lonnie, or a letter from Lonnie, I guess. Uh, before we go that way, let's go this way. What's this? Got some book. Put. Stop making weird noises. All right. Ooh, we got a postcard. That's pretty cool. That's a really good image, actually, to actually you know kind of put into a game and have it at that kind of resolution. Uh, looks really cool, and it kind of helps with the immersiveness of it. Uh, I really like that. So. I assume from Lonnie. Um, let's go ahead and put that back. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. Oh. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, You didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Okay, so sounds like people are maybe starting to get suspicious of it, and she's kind of fighting that, you know, she wants to tell people, maybe, um, but she doesn't at the same time, she, you know, she doesn't want people to know, because she doesn't want it to ruin their relationship, I guess, so, what do we got here, uh, pharmacy changes hands, alright, go ahead and leave that, Let's see, let me check my map real quick, see where we're at. So we're in the junk room. I guess we'll go down here. I feel like someone's gonna like grab my leg and pull me down the stairs or something. That's a weird room. All right, so what do we got here? We got some chips, empty pizza. Can nobody leave some pizza for me? Really? God. What do we got here? Uh, senior high school. So forth, so forth. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. 
there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Okay. So... Didn't quite understand that. I did, but I didn't at the same time. Okay, so there's a secret passage. Good to know. 1963. I assume that's a 9. So, we'll have to remember that. Just in case. So, let's go ahead and come back down here and check this other path real quick. And, um, and see where that goes. And then we'll go back that other way. So I assume this is probably another passage. Okay, so that kind of shows us the whole map. That's cool. Oh, um... 1963? Is that it? Yes. Thank God. Hydrogen prezoxide? What the hell is prezoxide? Um, so we got a letter. Uh, return to sender. Um, it's to Mary, so I assume to our mom. Uh, dear sister. I'm not going to take the time to attempt to read that, so if you guys want to pause it and read that, go for it. Let's see. Let's get down in here. What's in here? So we got a syringe. So looks like we got a lot of... Um, Medical supplies. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, fuck you, light. Alright, so... Oh, what do we got here? Um... Order this month. Okay, so... I don't think we'll need that, but... If we do, at least we know there's something there. Whoa, what was that? That was a weird noise. All right. Uh, Girl Scout. Uh, yeah, that. Oh. Todd's band lost their hey. singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. Till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Yeah, there you go. Don't let the people get you down. Oh, that's dark. Let's turn that light on. Hey. No. 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 Don't do that. Okay, so there we go. Now we're back over into there. So we got. What is this? So movie tickets. Earth, wind, and fire. Alright. Got some magazines. Got another note. No. Alright. Go ahead and leave that. Offer of promotion. Okay. That's cool. Go ahead and leave that. And Espanol. You stay there.
Got another note. This skull was the coolest thing I have found in Mexico. And it was like three bucks. Okay, so that's probably the uh, the skull that is uh, probably out there on the floor right now. <laughs> Light, light, light. There's light. Much better. Have I been in there? Oh. What do we got here? Another uh, little comic book thing. Disciplinary referral. That's not good. Dad. To Sam, since you refuse to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from... Social and telephone? Uh, privileges from using your car for any time... Except going to and from school. We understand what you're going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, uh, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. Uh, this is the last word on the master. Uh, get back on course so this won't happen again. Okay. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them because they're in for one very long phase. All right, so mom and dad are not believing her, uh, which I can see how that's probably pretty tough to go through. Um, you know, it's something that, I mean, really kind of frustrates me, you know. There's always such a, I don't know, a conflict Formity, or I don't even know that's a word, you know, around that kind of stuff. And people always see it as being bad, but, it, you know, it's not, you know, bad. You know, do your thing and, uh, and let other people do theirs. Whoa, this is kind of dark. Is there a light switch? Yes. All right, that's better. Hmm. Don't see anything there. Anything here? Got some playing cards. And books. The Accidental Savior. So we got some invitations. Scam. Sa scams? <laughs> Sam schedule working at Crown Burger on Bethel Road. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Saturday, 12 to 6. Those are some long work weeks. Oh, hello. Got some Russian dressing. Not anymore. Got some Finley's ketchup. Not anymore. Milk. Ah, well, wait. When is this bad? By 06, 05, 95. It's bad now. <laughs> Cola. Got some more milk. Cheese. 
Get out of here. Relish. And jam. All right. Nope. In there. So we'll go ahead and leave that. Got cutting board. Apparently the clock uh, went out. Or we lost power, so the clock went out. And more pizza, which everybody ate. Of course. Of course they did. Samantha, the... Something? Something in the woods. Uh, Alright. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie, and then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. Well, apparently, things did not go okay. <laughs> That's kind of obvious. Oh, all right. Oh, I think that was the other one. Okay. So, we got some food and whatnot. I guess we will keep on going this way. Some crumble up paper. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so oh, that's incredible cool. on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Oh, uh -huh. well, there's that. Okay, what's in here? Got another bathroom or laundry room? This is a really big house. Just want to say that. I don't see anything of importance. Got some detergent. Whoa, well, this is cool. All right, so what do we got over here? Got us a pamphlet. Whoa, wait. Um, June 3rd through 7th, 1995 booked, okay. Got a manuscript. Go ahead and put that back. Nothing there. I'll turn that light on. Dear Kaz, um, all right. Again, if you guys want to read this stuff, you guys can uh, pause it if you would like. Where we'll do it? Midnight, June fifth. Final preparations are complete. Okay. So in the foyer, there's a secret door under the stairs. Okay. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they 
were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. Man, that's rough. That is rough indeed. You gotta feel for her. Got to feel for her. That's weird. <laughs> Oscar? Okay. Chalk. I'm just gonna leave that there. Attic key! Alright, we got the attic key. Yeah! The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. What if she's in the attic? I wonder. That'd be kind of cool. To see uh, little sister up here. Little sister! Little sister, are you here? Doesn't look like it. Stay strong, kick ass. Sam, I'll always remember what we had. I love you, Lonnie. I said yes. Oh my god. Katie, uh, I fell asleep in the attic, in Lonnie in my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. It was Lonnie, on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me, and us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army, and being a part, and all of it. And so, she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can, and get in your car, and come find me. And let's just drive. Until we find somewhere. For us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said yes. Yes. That's really cool. It kind of warms your heart a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so let's keep on moving on here and see what we got. we got here read letters to Katie yeah. here we go Katie I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person that I can't tell you all this myself but I hope as you read this journal and you think back that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad. And you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Love, Sam. Wow, guys. Absolutely phenomenal game. That was amazing. You know, when I first started this game, I knew that it was going to be good. You know, I knew because the reviews on it were amazing. I didn't realize it was going to, you know, kind of hit home. You know what I mean? It's almost one of those. Uh, 
you know, stories that a teenage kid can kind of relate to, you know, not everybody understands, you know, there's a bunch of different things going on uh, when you're, you know, a kid and when you're a teenager, things like that. So let me go ahead and I can't move on. There we go. Okay. Now <laughs> I can talk, but um, absolutely phenomenal game. The, um, the atmosphere in that game was stupid, ridiculously amazing. You know, after it got to be, you know, about a half an hour in, an hour in, you know, you kind of know that nothing's going to happen because if something was going to happen, it would have happened, you know, a long time ago. But it, it gives you that sense of, you know, you're in a giant old house by yourself. And, you know, your, uh, your imagination just runs wild. You know, some of me, my imagination has always gone wild, you know. If I'm not doing something and thinking about something, then my imagination is, it's gone. <laughs> it's all over the place. And um, when you play this game, it's like that. You know, your imagination just goes wild. Every little creak, every little rustle, every little sound crawls under your skin and uh, it makes you, you know, shiver. <laughs> you know, it's, it's insane. It was an awesome game. If you guys haven't played it, I highly recommend that you guys go and pick this up. It's 20 bucks. Uh, it's only about an hour of, you know, game time, but that hour, hour and a half, you know, we'll say, was phenomenal. That was an amazing story. You know, it's literally, you know, it's basically just walking around and kind of uh, playing an interactive story type thing. You know what I mean? It, you know, you find pages, you know, you kind of learn about what's going on, why people aren't there, where your sister is, and it's just one of those kind of, you know, stories. It's it's story time, you know, and that's that's really cool. You know, there's not a lot of games that do that very well, and this game, by far, hit the nail on the head and, uh, and did an awesome job with this game. The story was amazing. You know, it kind of unfolded, you figured... You know, maybe she ran away for whatever reason. You know, she didn't like the house. You know, she, um, you know, you didn't really know. And you never really kind of knew that, uh, that it was something, you know, between her and Lonnie that, uh, you know, until probably, I don't know, um, it was when I picked up one of those first notes when we were, uh, during this episode, and I'll probably upload this all as one video, you know, it's 47 minutes, it'll probably be, uh, like 50 minutes by the time I get rambling, or get done rambling, but, um, one of those notes where it talked about, uh, how Lonnie said that, you know, she liked her, something like that, um, or, you know, how, uh, Lonnie said that she was beautiful when they were dyeing their hair, that kind of thing, um, that's when you kind of start to to know and it's like well maybe not maybe they're just good friends and well I mean they were good friends but you know it was more than that and it was really cool it was really cool the way they kind of pulled this off and uh, I enjoyed it definitely it, it wasn't a scary game but it was a not necessarily a thriller but it, it was one of those where it just I don't know I don't know how to explain it I don't know how to explain it. it. It was a game all its own, and it was a really good game. You know, it's a game that you know someone in the uh, the younger age group, you know, you know their teenage years, you know things like that, something that they can really relate to, because all these uh, problems that she was having and things like that. It's a lot of that stuff. You know, granted, she was uh, you know lesbian versus you know straight that kind of thing. So not everybody is like that. But um, the thing is, a lot of the stuff that she was going through is a lot of stuff that a lot of people go through is, uh, is teenagers. And I thought that's really cool. You know, it allows people to kind of connect to what is going on. And I thought that was awesome. So that's going to be it for this, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. And now that I got this recording software, it looks like it's recording okay. It, hopefully it is because I'm going to be absolutely furious if I have to redo this. Um... Because I don't think I can redo this. Knowing what I know, I don't think I can redo this game. Um, it's one of those where, it's kind of those one-time deals.
but it definitely is going to leave an impression, you know, as far as one of the best games that I've ever played. So, that is that. Hopefully this goes well as far as recording. Hope you guys all enjoy the video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.